if at first you don't succeed. It doesn't look safe to walk there. When this rock fell from the ceiling, it must have cracked open an energy conduit under the floor. There's a huge amount of energy flowing along this column. if this will even work. Even if these really are the same crystals I saw resurrecting an alien in that museum display, they weren't designed for humans. But it's worth a shot. for several hours. <laughs> you Americans, always exaggerating. I assure you, Brink, no pulse, no breath, dead. But I found a couple of life crystals in a museum, and from a display there, I got an idea of how to use them. Where's the crystal? I have to see it. I wasn't sure it would work on a human being. Our cellular structures must be very similar. Boston, it didn't just bring me to life. It brought me... to life. I feel more powerful, more energetic, more alive than I've ever felt before. Maggie? Do you read me? Yes, I do. I hope this is important. I think so. Brink isn't dead anymore, Maggie. You have a very sick sense of humor. Goodbye. No, wait, I'm serious. Deadly serious. Brink! I can't believe it. It was a crystal I found in the museum. The display there showed it bringing someone back to life. So I tried it. A crystal that heals the dead. If we ever get back home, this will change the world. It'll change everything. It's not just being alive again, Maggie. I feel perfect. 
I feel like I never knew what good health was until today. Now it's all the more important we find a way home. It's always kind of important to me. Keep exploring, Boston. I'll get back to work on the language. You got it, Maggie. Brink. You still feel okay, Brink? It's almost worth falling through holes on alien planets if you feel this good afterward. This place is as empty as an ancient ruin, but at the same time, almost everything is still in working order. I know what you mean. This must have been how the bear's house felt to Goldilocks. They just stepped away for a moment. They'll be back any time. Do you think Maggie can learn an alien language? She's very intuitive. If she used a crystal, she could learn anything. I couldn't believe it when I first realized that these aliens made bridges out of light. What I can't believe is that you are able to bring yourself to take that first step. Maggie's found the library, or that's what we think it is. Can she read the language already? She's working on it. She has mastered the library controls. Well, even if we can't find a way to get home, at least she may learn enough to help us stay alive here. I got this inscription from the museum. What do you think? I think that's Maggie's department. I don't want to be bothered with things like this. What do you think the chances are that scientists back on Earth will be able to figure out these life crystals and make more. They have to, that's all. You have no idea how good it feels to have such strength surging through my body. And not just my body. My mind has never been so alert. We have to find more of these crystals if we can. More and more of them. Keep your eyes open for any metal plates like the ones we found back on Attila. I think if we find the right ones, they may fit in a triangular alcove in the Nexus. And if they do fit, what would happen? I have no idea, Brink, but I still think it's worth searching for them. The ghost we saw that led us to that hole you fell through. I saw another one at the museum spire. A museum guide? Whatever these ghosts are, I think they're trying to lead us to something. Ah, but are they leading us somewhere we want to go? Thanks. Uh-oh. The other trams came as soon as I called them. Maybe there are some controls somewhere.
Brink, would you give me a hand with this? Sure. On three. One, two, three. That was the longest visit from a ghost yet. The whole display centered on this basin. It's full of crystals. Are these the life crystals? Like the one you used to bring me back to life? They look like it. Then it couldn't be more clear. These life crystals are the reason they brought us to this world. They have found the secret of life, and they want to share. Weren't you watching, Brink? I don't care what language you speak, that ghost shaped itself like a skull. It was warning us, these crystals are dangerous. It was the symbol of death, Lo. These crystals are the antidote for death, that's what it meant. What if there are side effects? Did you think of that? The side effect is that I feel better than I ever felt before. If you had used a life crystal on yourself, your mind would also be as clear as mine. And you'd see that there is nothing more important than getting these crystals and using them. Brink, I think you're wrong. I think we need to be careful. These aliens are kind and good, Commander. They have given us a gift. Yeah? Well, if this is all so perfect, where are these aliens? Maybe they've moved on to a higher plane of existence. Or maybe they're all dead. <laughs> See how badly your brain is working. How could they be dead? They invented these life crystals. Commander, I feel sorry for you. Still tied down by an ordinary mind and ordinary fears. But I feel too good to want to argue with you. Believe what you want. I'm taking as many of these crystals as I can carry. Well, I'm gonna take some for study back on Earth. I'm just not gonna use them. But you will, Commander. Maybe I should take one more life crystal. A canister. Didn't I see a picture of something like this in one of the museum displays? Brink. What do you think the chances are that scientists back on Earth will be able to figure out these life crystals and make more? They have to, that's all. You have no idea how good it feels to have such strength surging through my body. And not just my body. My mind has never been so alert. We have to find more of these crystals if we can. More and more of them. Thanks. Think. Brink? 
Brink? Where are you? Brink, answer me. Brink, can you hear me? Where are you? Maggie? Brink's run off. He wasn't acting very rational when we found a big supply of life crystals. I'm afraid maybe those things are addictive. Or they altered his personality or something. A ghost tried to warn us, but Brink was feeling too cocky to listen to good advice. Just when this place starts looking benign, it finds new ways to be dangerous. Anyway, I'm going on without him. I can't think of anything else to do. I'll try to contact him now and then. See if he's willing to talk. Thanks, Maggie. I'm beginning to take this personally. Nobody wants to stay with me. Maybe it's my deodorant. I think it failed somewhere back there on Attila. If Maggie were here, I'd tell her not to take a chance on swimming in the same water with a large yield. It may or may not think of her as dinner. So maybe I'll take my own advice and stay on dry land. Thank you. 
just need a little something to make you complete, my friend. How about a little alien explosive device? Now that the water is safe for swimming, I think it's time to see what's in that underwater cave. Another engraving. 